Hi, Spirit of R. Thank you for coming when I asked. I'm feeling kind of guilty. And I was hoping to confess, I guess. And I don't really know how to get out of it, so I was hoping you would help me. I can't get Big Kelsey to listen to me on this one thing, and it's really important to me. And so, well, I'm really ashamed to admit it. I've been irritated, and I've been making her be really irritated, and she doesn't understand why she's so irritated, and then she feels guilty, and then she just thinks, oh, no, there's something really wrong with her, because she has so much to be grateful for. Why is she so irritated? <sighs> I want her to fight for herself. For us. Because, you know, she'll... What's that saying about pick up arms or something? She'll fight for the underdog. She'll fight for anyone that needs her help. Especially if they don't have a voice or if they're afraid to let their voice be heard. She'll fight for them. She won't fight for herself. Well, you know what it is. She's been wanting something for a really long time and you know here's the thing she doesn't really like rules but for some reason she's listening to the rules all of a sudden and i don't like it because you know we always had to obey the rules you know when she was me you know what I mean? My age. And... You know, we couldn't really fight for ourselves either, because if we ever showed some spunk, it wasn't a good thing. So we learned not to fight. We just learned to accept. And I have been trying to teach her, and I, yeah, I know, I'm the little one, I'm the kid, I'm not supposed to be teaching her, but you know, I've been hanging around a long time at this age, and I got some smarts, you know? And, and besides, I'm a smart kid anyway. So I want her to know that it's okay to fight for something that she wants as bad as this. But, no, she wants to be gracious, she wants to be a lady. She keeps hearing how she's supposed to give up control and go with the flow, and so she's trying really hard, even though it's really hard for her. <sighs> you know, I don't want to blow the whistle on her, and I know you know what I'm talking about, but... You know, here's the thing. She's trying to be a grown-up. And she doesn't want to be a grown-up right now. She's really tired of being a grown-up. And she wants to be me. We can't both be me. And I can't really trade with her. So, I've been trying to help in the only way I can. But she doesn't know that I've been doing it. And so she just thinks she's grumpy. And she doesn't get it. Oh, oh, that gave me a headache. Oh, it's like, oh, sorry. That was kind of silly, but I'm a kid. I get away with silly stuff. And see, that's the thing. You know, Big Kelsey, she's really silly. She could have a lot of fun when she lets herself, you know, let her hair hang down. Is that what they say? But she hasn't been having fun. It's kind of hard to have fun by yourself. And like I said, she's trying to be like all grown up this big lady and, you know, gracious and turning the other cheek at these people that she thinks are, you know, down on her or working against her or whatever. And she's trying to go with the flow. And, you know, here's my theory. Ooh, that was a big word for a little kid, huh? 
So my theory is, there's a time to go with the flow. And yeah, she's fought everything her whole life, and she's tired of fighting. So I can see why she'd be tempted to go with the flow. But there's also a time to take action. You know, let's say you go with the flow when the river's a lazy river, the waters are calm, you just lay back in your raft and you enjoy just going with the flow. But when the waters get turbulent, don't you have to sit up and kind of steer or put your life jacket on or maybe get your phone out in case you need help? I mean, aren't you supposed to do something when the waters get turbulent? And right now, her mind is so turbulent. You know, it's like she just doesn't even feel like herself because she's trying to go with the flow and she's not a very good flower. Is that a word? I'm not sure. Anyway, I just am feeling guilty because I haven't let her in on it. See, she's been checking in with me. She, she is going to this therapist who's trying to teach her how to nurture herself. And, you know, to nurture her inner child, me. And so, you know, she checks in with me and I haven't confessed. It's like I got myself into this big mess and now I'm afraid to admit it to her. Oh, you want to know something that's funny? When she checks in with me, I call her mama. <laughs> and I know she's not my mama. I know she's me and I'm her. But I call her mama because we're supposed to be remembering to nurture ourselves, you know, to make up for things. So we're supposed to be doing that now. The thing is, we don't really know how to do it. And she doesn't want to admit that she's so tired of working at everything. She just wants to be, you know, the one that gets nurtured. And so having to nurture herself and nurture me is just more work, you know? And she's not like some being from out of space for Pete's sake. She's a human, so she gets to have a... She gets to have an ego too. I'm sorry. Yeah, I should calm down. But the thing is, she never really got to be a kid that had someone just take care of her and let her know everything was okay, you know? Without criticism or, you know, bad stuff. And this is just more work for her to have to figure out how to nurture us and she doesn't want to do the work. She just wants someone to to nurture her. She just wants to relax finally and have someone care about her. You know, it, at least just tell her that she's going to be okay. I'm worried about her, Spirit of Art. I'm just worried. And I'm feeling guilty because I'm making her irritated on top of sad. You know, and she just doesn't want... <sighs> Now I'm tattling. You know, you get in trouble for tattling, but I'll be okay with you, won't I? Okay, so here's why she's having such a hard time. It's because, I suppose it's that ego thing again, it's because everyone thinks that she's this strong, courageous, independent woman who doesn't need anybody who can handle everything on her own and people look up to her for that and she doesn't want to let them down by admitting she's tired of being strong she's really tired of being strong now i want to cry because she cries she doesn't want to have to be strong all the time oh dear well, I guess it's okay if I cry, because I'm a kid. Kids cry, right? Well, unless you get in trouble for that, and then you go, I'm not crying. I'm not crying. Really, I'm not crying. So anyway, is there something I can do to, like, confess that I screwed up? That I shouldn't have been making her feel irritated on top of being sad? 
Cause I'm afraid she's giving up. And I don't want her to give up, I want her to fight for us, cause we never got to fight. Oh, sorry. But the thing is, we never got to fight without punishment. And now there's no one that's gonna punish. I want her to fight for what she wants so bad. But she just... She just is following the rules and I don't get that. You know, I just don't get that because she's worked hard to not feel like she has to. She's worked hard to accept that she's here to bring about change. And that means sometimes you have to break the rules and then here she is listening and going with the flow. What she, what she really wants to do is, you know, Make a stand? Take a stand? Is that what is? I don't know. What she really wants to do is just, you know, say, This is what I want. That's what she wants to do. This is what I want. I think I'm really silly to do that. That's not really how she talks, is it? Well, you know, I'm doing the best I can. I'm only five, you know. So, anyway, can you help her, please? Because I don't know what to do. And could you tell me how I let her know that I just kind of messed up? Because I don't know how to get out of it, like I said. And, you know, she's getting better at this unconditional love stuff. I think she'd forgive me, don't you? Do you think I should just tell her next time she checks in? First I'll say, hi, mama, to remind her, you know, that we're supposed to be nice to ourselves. And then I just tell her the truth that she loves me anyway. Okay, I will do that. You know, Spirit of R, I really appreciate that you came by and that you took the time to help me. I really appreciate that. So... Thank you for listening to me and, you know, I'd ask you for a hug because we really miss having hugs. You're just energy, so I don't know how to get a hug. So anyway, okay. Bye, thank you.